The scripture tells us that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That's everyone. Every one of us. Whether you are black, brown, yellow, red or white. And the scripture also tells us here. God that had made the world and all the things therein. Now remember that God has made everything. Seen and unseen. Seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth. Dwelleth not in temples made with, with, with hands. Right? God doesn't dwell inside church buildings made with men's hands. He dwells inside the believer. The temple of God is within. That's why Jesus said you must be born again to enter the kingdom of God. But you must be born again. There's no choice in the matter. You must be born again to enter God's kingdom. When you become born again, that's when the Lord God starts to show you this absolute hellhole that we're living in, which we call earth. And have made of one blood one blood all nations of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth and had determined the times before appointed so God has determined the times God is the creator of all things heaven and earth right and he's outside time he knows the beginning from the end is the alpha and the omega so it says that he's a he, before appointed and the bounds of their habitation the bounds that's the borders that's the parts of their habitation those who live with inside those borders so when you see nations borders getting broke down you know there's big trouble coming because god is the very one who set those those boundaries up and god tears them down too because when god's judgment comes upon a land or a nation or a people um the nations are always invaded right the nations are forced invaded then they literally starve the people from the inside out and then they attack with no mercy and that's what you're seeing happening now throughout the world that they should seek the Lord if happily they might feel after him Find him, though he be not far from every one of us. God is not far from us. God is within us. Again, I tell you, the temple of God is within. Right? For in him we live and move and have our being. And certain also of your own poets have said, For we are also his offspring. We're the offspring of the Lord God. Praise the Lord Jesus. If the Bible says when you become born again, you become sons and daughters of the, of the Lord God, the King, Jesus Christ, the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. For as much then as we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone, graven art and man's device. Now, see, God is a spirit who came to the earth in the image of his son, Jesus Christ, the Lord, the only begotten son, right? The Bible tells us in John 1, 14, that the word... The word became flesh, flesh, and dwelt amongst us. And we beheld his glory as the only begotten son of the father, full of grace and truth. There is only one in the Godhead, right? And that's Jesus Christ the Lord. He is the image of the invisible God. Because remember, God is a spirit. God is a spirit, right? So we came here again, I tell you. In the image of his son jesus christ the lord hallelujah and the times of this ignorance god winked at but now commanded all men everywhere to repent that's a commandment of god all men must repent they must repent of their wicked sins their wicked ways and return to the lord because he appointed a day in which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he had ordained jesus christ the lord Whereof he had given assurance unto all men in that he had raised him from the dead. Now, you must understand, until a man or a woman is born again by the power of the Holy Spirit, he will not see and understand who Jesus Christ the Lord is. You'll hear many people on these apps saying, oh, Jesus is just a prophet. He's just the Messiah that God sent. But the Bible clearly tells us in um, Isaiah 9, 6 who Christ is. 
And I'll just let me read that Isaiah 9 6, right? Yeah, hold on, just let me get that feel. Bye bye. Praise the Lord. 9 6, there we go. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called the Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and of peace, there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth, even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Amen. And the Bible says in um, Isaiah 61 that the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek is it sent me to bind up the broken hearted and proclaim liberty to those who are captive and the opening of the prison to those who are bound amen and hallelujah Jesus Christ is Lord he loves you and remember what the scripture says we are of one blood we are of one mother and father Eve is the mother of all nations on this earth people must turn from their prideful ways from the ways of thinking about flesh and that includes all people that have been thinking about flesh colors which is includes myself and every other people in the world i repent of it in the name of jesus christ the lord I'm not a perfect man only jesus is perfect and we all fall short of the glory of god but jesus came here to set the sinner free and the bible says that he who was free is free indeed and my question to you all today is have you been set free have you been cleansed in the blood of the lamb because about this time 2,000 years ago the Lord Jesus Christ hung on a cross for your sins and for my sins so that we may have life eternal life God bless you I love you in Jesus Christ the Lord thank you and God bless you